Hey guys, welcome to question FM 377 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. This question reads, Olivia rides her bike to swim training each morning. The pool that Olivia trains at is 1,900 metres away from her house. The equation for the relationship between the distance in metres that Olivia is from her house, t minutes after leaving, is this. And we're given uh, this system of equations. So we've got distance uh, is 200 t for the values of t between 0 and 5, uh, also including 0 and 5. Uh, her distance is 1000, regardless of the value of t between 5 and m, so greater than 5, uh, and then less than or equal to m. And then her distance is 300 t minus 1100 for the values between m, so when t is greater than m or less than and equal to 10. If Olivia reaches the pool 10 minutes after leaving her house, the value of m is what? And so what we're going to do from here, this is a seemingly tricky question, but when we start to sort of delve into what these equations actually mean, uh, it starts to be, make a little bit more sense. So we can see here that her distance is 200t for the values between 0 and 5 minutes. What this should start to tell us is that for every minute, within the first leg of Olivia's bike ride, every minute she's traveling 200 meters. So with each t increasing by, if we had a value of one for t, so one minute in, the distance would be 200. Uh, a value of two for t would leave a distance of 400 and so on and so forth. So after five minutes, she is 1000 meters away from home. And she stays at that distance. So what we're gonna presume here is that she takes a break between five minutes and m minutes. We also know that after this, she's traveling a bit faster, so she's traveling 300 meters per minute uh, to make it to the pool on time. What we can do is we can look at, because what's going to happen, I should say, is uh, the little crossover points that are made by these lines. So for example, 200t, if we were to time uh, substitute a value of 5 for t, that would put us 5 minutes in and she would be at a distance of 1,000 from her house, or 1,000 metres from her house. And this is the same as the distance that she is here, also 5 minutes in. So we can look at these and it's reasonable to, to think that her distance is going to be 1,000 metres away from her house, so substituting for distance here, she's going to be 1,000 metres away from her house at the very start of this final leg. So what we're going to do is find out the value of t that puts her 1,000 metres away from her house. From here, if we add 1,100 to both sides, we get 2,100 is equal to 300t. And if we divide both sides by 300, we should get that 7 is equal to t, meaning that it's going to take, well, between 5 and 7 minutes, she has a break, and then from 7 to 10 minutes, she's riding at 300 metres per minute. So since we've found the time at which it would seem that Olivia crosses from this leg of her uh, journey to this leg, we can say that since her time, the time there was 7, 7 is going to be our value for m. Which means that our answer is going to be option C. If you guys have any questions for us about this question, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.